This video is an update of the plywood and oriented strand board prices and market for the middle of May 2024. Hello again, everyone. Kata Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. I'm going to do a really quick update right now on panel. So oriented strand board and plywood prices for North America. Here we are. It's uh, May 10th, 2024. And it's been quite the roller coaster for the plywood and OSB prices that had increased in the past month, uh, supposedly in advance of building season or uh, whatever reason that was, and now coming back down, which isn't the normal time of year for these construction framing prices to be dropping, but could indicate that those asking prices of four weeks ago were too high, was above what the market could bear. And as I've been explaining for both the lumber and the panel, uh, while the field inventories are very lean, demand is even lower. And so with a soft market like this, the price doesn't really have a chance to increase uh, as we would consider normally for the season of well into spring at this point and in, in advance of the summer building season. So let's look at some of the graphs right now. Uh, I'm going to explain what happened and what's going on right now. And then I'll come back with a little bit more data. Okay, so this is the oriented strand board coming out of Ontario. 7 16 inch is the benchmark. Meets the building code as most often used uh, and the plywood coming up next for home building. Quickly, I just want to draw your attention to the red line, which is that 2022, the ending of all that volatility that we had uh, unprecedented high prices. And at the, it looks like the middle of the year, sort of August, those prices exactly matched to one year ago. So two years ago and one year ago intersection there. Then the blue line now is this year, 2024, where this is what I'm talking about. You can see in the previous month, a run up of that price and then a correction down. So far still ending higher than at the beginning of the year when prices were somewhat flat. So this OSB currently is Canadian $590 per thousand square feet which is down 11% or $70 from the previous week when it was 660 and is down 21% or $155 from one month ago when it was 745. However, it's up 42% or $175 from the same week one year ago when it was $415. And then this one is Canadian softwood plywood out of Toronto, 9.5 millimeters or 3 8 inch. Again, the standard for construction framing if people choose plywood over OSB. You can see how these graph trend lines are quite a bit different from the dimension lumber that I was showing you. And once again, we have the intersection of around August uh, last year with the previous year of those prices matching up. The blue line, once again, this year, as you can see, rising up and actually looks like corrected approximately to where it was prior to that increase. And so what we have with this item is the current price, Canadian $610 per thousand square feet, down 10% or $65 from the previous week when it was $675, down 19% or $143 from one month ago when it was $753, and down 3% or $21 from the same week one year ago when it was 631. So this price is coming close to where it was one year ago. Potentially, is it the end of this downward trend that we see now for the past few weeks or will it fall further? That's why subscribers to Madison's are able to see on the dashboard every week when the prices come out instead of having to wait for me to make a video or post on the website. Okay, so I hope that explains something, at least uh, the last month and then maybe where we are right now, it doesn't really necessarily give an indication of what's going to happen coming up. Uh, I would say the prices will flatten at where they are right now, given everything else that's going on in the market. But 
that doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. So here are some of the things that we do know. We do know that Canadian lumber manufacturing for full year 2023 was down 6% compared to 2022. The U.S. was really quite flat. It was like 1.5% difference. The sawmill capacity utilization rates in Canada were still low compared to previously and definitely compared to what is optimal for the Canadian mills. And we know what's happening with the housing starts as that data comes out from census and we post that on Madison's every month in relation to the lumber prices so people can see how those trend lines move together. Uh, I just got the latest update from the Western Wood Products Association. They're out of Portland, Oregon. They do a newsletter called Lumber Track, comes out every month. It is on a lag. So what we have for February of 2024 is the lines are crossing over that U.S. lumber manufacturing dropped and Canada increased. Now, Canada had really been low, as I was explaining. And the same thing with the utilization rates. The U.S. Uh, utilization rate fell in February and in Canada it increased. And again, in Canada it had been very low. If you watched my previous video just now about the lumber prices, that southern pine seems like perhaps industry manufacturing ramped up a little bit too much in the last few months more than the market could bear, charged a little bit higher for that item, and now that correction down is more steep than the rise had been and, the, and is more steep than the correction down in Canada, if that makes sense. If you want to see that data, contact the WWPA in Portland. They are very good, and that is an excellent indicator of the fundamentals of what's happening for the sawmilling industry. As is my lumber prices, my regular viewers will know. Madison's was started in 1952 and we publish 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices every Friday. And so that's what my customers have access to on the dashboard when they log in every week. So what you see here on YouTube and what I put on the website, small snapshot on a leg of the full data that we do, which is very timely because it comes out every week for that week. Okay, so now about this plywood and OSB, there are other uses besides new home building and actually even besides reconstruction uh, and repairs after storms. And so that explains why at times there might be a different trend activity with those prices than there is with the dimension lumber. But generally speaking, the plywood and OSB price is a good forward indicator of what could come with those dimension lumber prices in the next few weeks. So check back often. If you like what you see here, click subscribe here on YouTube so you'll be notified when we make another video. Click like so this video will get recommended to other viewers. And if you do want to see more in the caption is a link to the website. You can fill out the form and we'll send you a sample of what are those 500 individual softwood lumber and panel prices that we track every week, what the price is that week. And we will also send you the commentary explaining why those prices changed. 